training or to develop the wheel. The idea for military armories, particularly based around nanofactories and nano assemblers, is just such a remote possibility for me. I'd rather devote my efforts elsewhere than being concerned about that particular problem. So basically, you think that it's much too early to think about it? Yeah. So, uh, how much time do you think we have to actually think about it once it gets perhaps disabled? So, the, the, the question is, are you thinking about nanotechnology or weapons research involving the type of Drexlerian nanotechnology, or are you thinking about rather more conventional nanotechnology in terms of self-assembled monolayers, self-assembly, self-organization, which, which those are two very, very different approaches yes, with very indeed. different time scales. And there might be a third one because there certainly are experiments to try to develop little computers too, I think, gates and that may be Yeah, but again, to... the best of those is what I showed with the, the carbon monoxide molecules that I was developed. Again, 4K, 10 to the minus 10, uh, okay. 10 to the minus 10. So, for both of those, mm -hmm. uh, would you actually have current estimates to, uh, as to how likely any of these? I would I would just would not be drawn into, just, it's much like the Drake equation, you know the Drake equation? I have little time for that. It's like these mm -hmm. equations that pop up in the, in the Daily Mail every now and again, telling mm -hmm. you which is the worst day of the month or which is the worst day of the year, completely non-scientifically. Yeah. Lack information to insert a question. However, exactly. uh, the, I mean, the answer is still very important, much more important than there, sir. I mean, yeah, but I just I am not willing to um, postulate because I have no information. G give me a, a basis on which I can make an estimate, a it reliable, it's quantitative opinion. estimate. Okay, that's all. Okay, that's okay. it. Okay. Thank you. Very much. Okay, that was a nice lesson for anybody who thinks that I only invite idealists to my meeting. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, um, we're, we're, we're about to go to the gala dinner, which is even nicer than the dinner you've had before. I have a whole bunch of people to thank for their contribution to this meeting, and as some of you know who have been to these meetings before, the one person that I tend to thank now rather than during the dinner is the projectionist, Peter Ogden, who will come down here and receive a spectacularly expensive bottle of whiskey. Uh, <laughs> and I would like to Uh, this is the fourth meeting that we've had here, and we always have extraordinarily high quality, highly skilled technicians working for us. Peter uh, actually unusually has been doing this on his own. Usually we have two people, so he's really done a marvellous job. So now, let's all go in.